Okay, we're, I was almost complete the transmitter alignment on this. This is a TRS Challenger 850, and I thought I'd do a quickie video to show why there are certain parts of not this radio, but pretty much every radio that no golden screwdriver should touch, or even techs. If you, I don't care if you're a professional, you know, technician. If you don't have a spectrum analyzer, there are certain things you should not touch in this, and that piece of equipment you need. Is a spectrum analyzer right there and what I want to show is why people tune these radios any radios CB's ham radios doesn't matter if it's a transmitter when you tune them for maximum smoke well you're also tuning them for maximum distortion and maximum splatter and I want to show that pretty much every CB radio ever made has what is known as a 54 megahertz trap circuit because CB radio is in the 27 megahertz band, the second harmonic of that is two times your transmitting frequency. So if you're at 27 megahertz times two, it's 54. So pretty much every CB radio ever made is going to have a 54 megahertz trap circuit. And that's what this adjustment is right here. And notice it looks exactly like the rest of the adjustments in the RF amplifier stage. Okay? Don't touch that. I see these all the time. If a radio's been aligned, probably at least 90% of the time, this one's been adjusted too. And they've adjusted it for maximum power on a power meter. Like that. The problem is, that meter, when you adjust that, that extra power increase you get when you adjust that, is 54 megahertz. Unless you're trying to talk on television, don't touch that and I'm going to show you so stick the alignment tool in here now what the setup I have is coax cable comes out goes into this power meter okay I'm trying to get it ah, this glare is going to kill me isn't it there we go turn this light off I think there we go just like that so comes into this power meter comes out of this power meter into this coax cable, runs down underneath the bench through two 30 dB attenuators for a total of 60 dB attenuation, comes back up, and then runs into the spectrum analyzer. So basically this is the 50 ohm dummy load, because by the time the signal gets to here through the two 60 dB attenuators, it's, min it's a minute signal. Okay, so... I'm going to key the microphone, and I want you to wait. It's not a lot, but that's what people are doing. They're trying to pinch every bit of power out of it, so you're going to see there's a little bit of power. Now, I key the microphone. This is, this is the signal you want. This is the signal you don't want. So now as I adjust this adjustment, that's what I'm going to be turning, is that 54 megahertz trap circuit. You can see, see how that goes up and down? That's the 54 megahertz. You don't, that is what you don't want right there. What you want is that right there nothing now watch the power meter let me get that back up see that little bit of needle fluctuation not a lot but notice when this peak crests so does this the power meter peaks that's because this meter does not discriminate between 27 megahertz and 54 megahertz it it reflects or reads all of the RF energy that's going through it. It's not reading just your CV signal, it's also reading that 54 megahertz power that's going in there also. So as I adjust that, you can see it doesn't move much. Right there's maximum power. Well notice we have 54 megahertz spike right there. And I tune that down to where it should be. Okay, so don't touch that coil. Leave pretty much in every CB radio. If you must do adjustments, turn the light back on here. If you must do adjustments, basically the last adjustment before it leaves the radio to go out through the coax cable is going to be your 54 megahertz trap circuit. So unless you have a spectrum analyzer, don't touch that. It was adjusted at the factory, and the odds are that's one adjustment. Unlike a lot of other circuits, they've got resistors and a lot of other parts that can vary in tolerance over the years and might, might you know, change your output power. Odds are that does not need adjustment, so 
do not adjust the 54 megahertz trap coil unless you have a spectrum analyzer because that increase that little bit of increase you're going to see in power is nothing more than you transmitting a television signal is basically what you're transmitting is is 54 megahertz which is television that's why back in the day truckers drove past your house keyed their microphone and wiped your tv out they probably somebody did the same thing i still see today people adjust this for maximum power reflected on a power meter and don't realize they're what they're doing is is they're allowing that 54 megahertz signal to get out instead of blocking it and that's what this is designed for to take that rf energy stop it right here and and transfer it from rf energy into thermal energy in other words heat so stop it stop touching those coils